Barcelona during Christmas, a defecating log. Seriously. This is James Whalen. We're going to talk about December, Christmas, the whole celebration that happens here and why it's one of the best times to visit Barcelona. So one of the ironic things about Barcelona is we get huge amounts of tourists and they all kind of come in the, in the summer, which is the most extreme weather that we get year round. The winters here are fairly mild. I like to talk about Florida in the winter without the humidity. Uh, it's pleasant weather, it's quiet, it's calm, there's usually less people around. I really enjoy even the center of Barcelona in the winter and around Christmas time there's usually not tons and tons of people. It's the darkest time of the year, but they put up tons of lights. I think it has a really good atmosphere. This is off-season weather. Uh, it reminds me of the fact that, you know, my favorite summers ever I experienced in Germany and Wisconsin off-season weather not their extreme weather and Barcelona's version of that is December and Christmas so there's this local custom that you're gonna hear about and it's called the cagatillo and it's basically a log that poops this is a folk tradition that's been married into onto the um, to the traditional Christmas celebration the traditional way of celebrating this was that they have a log starting in early December and the kids care for the log and keep it warm and then on Christmas Eve on the 24th they beat the log and it poops out a gift now you'll hear about this if you're here you probably won't experience it unless you're good friends with local people because it's something they do in their house I've seen this I think once uh, it's the 24th Christmas Eve and it's this crazy local celebration. It's not something that happens anywhere else in the rest of Spain, the cagatillo. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that Christmas and Christmas Eve are, pro are not the primary days of celebration here. Uh, Christmas Eve is basically a working day. They, people probably stop a little bit early, but it's mostly a normal day. Christmas Day, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, they do celebrate it. Uh, kids know about Santa Claus and kids are milking the whole Santa Claus thing to try to get a gift. But the primary day of celebration and of giving gifts is later. Um, for C Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, the metro is open every day of the year. It, it closes at 11 o'clock on holidays like this. There should be something, there should be places open to eat in the center. Fast food places are open. You'll find something to eat there. Um, the primary day of, of uh, celebration here is later. It's the, what, what, what the, in the Catholic tradition is called the Feast of the Epiphany. That's January 6th. Now, local people don't call it that. In Spain, they don't call it the Feast of the Epiphany. They call it the Kings. Uh, this is the day in the Christian myth when the wise men and these primitive scientists supposedly arrived to, to, to view the Christ child and give gifts. Calling it the Kings has always rubbed me a little bit wrong because I just thought it was a strange conversion. As an American, I only recognize two kings. They both died in Memphis. You can quote me on that. Uh, January 6th, they give the gifts to the kids. It's a big celebration. People stay at home and eat. Lots of things will be closed uh, for the Feast of the Epiphany. The day before is January 5th, and this is the day that they actually have, a, have municipal parades all around the city. They actually bring in uh, versions of the wise men on camels, and they parade, up in, uh, parade through neighborhoods. There, I think there's several of them that go on around town. They throw candy. It's a great activity for kids. You have the lights up, the weather is pleasant, and you have this experience. January 7 is when the sales start. ka -ching. You can't have Christmas without selling things. I really do want to promote Christmas, uh, uh, Christmas in Barcelona. I think it's just a fantastic time. I enjoy it. I go and walk around in the center, and it actually feels like a totally different place. It doesn't feel like the rat race that you get in the summer. What are you thinking about? Are you thinking about coming here in the winter? I totally recommend it. What dates are you looking at? Do you have any more questions? I'd love to hear from you. Question of the day. Uh, if you're having as much fun as I am with these crazy videos, grab the like button, share it, let me hear back from you. This is James Whalen. We're throwing specific solutions and quirky fun at you. Have an amazing day, folks. Bye-bye. Adios.